police are on the hunt for a woman who's been drugging men from nightclubs, then robbing the men when they pass out. And so far, she's gotten away with thousands of dollars in cash and a lot of expensive jewelry. CBS 2's Andrea Fujii is live in Hollywood with interviews with two victims you won't see anywhere else. Pat and Rick, police say this woman has done this at least four other times across Los Angeles, including right outside this nightclub here in Hollywood, where she met two men, drugged them, and stole more than $200,000 worth of their stuff. Security video shows two men who we've blurred take a woman up to an apartment, and it was inside where Gary, who doesn't want to show his face, says he was drugged. This person gambled with my life. Gary and his friend say they met the woman outside the Argyle nightclub in Hollywood back in March. They invited her back to his place where she made them drinks, but not long after, they both passed out. And I went down my face first on my bed and. I don't remember anything. It was about five hours later that both he and his friend Stan say they realized more than $200,000 worth of their stuff was stolen, including three very expensive watches, a bracelet, and $50,000 in cash. So somebody must have probably in the nightclub told her, you know, that we have, you know, very expensive jewels, and she just happened to be there. And you know, we took the bait. Police say this woman may be responsible for four other similar heists in Beverly Hills and West LA. She meets them either in or outside of a club, drugs them, and then steals from them. The men say once they realize they were drugged, they examined their empty drinking glasses. We looked in them, and two of them had like dissolved pills in there. And one of them was clean. Both men say they want the woman caught, worried her concoctions may soon kill someone. Poisoning people around, and you know, one of these days, somebody will unfortunately will die. And police believe there are more victims out there who are maybe too embarrassed to come forward. But police want to remind everyone you can remain anonymous. And if you recognize this woman, you're asked to call police. Pat, back to you. All right.